Hey guys, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and a box came to my door. The Galaxy S3 from Global Mobiles. I got this, of course, off Amazon, just in case if I have any issues, I make sure that all my products are fulfilled, at least, by Amazon, so that I can uh, return it and get another one. Since I'm in the United States and don't exactly get a warranty, I want to be happy with what I have at first. So, I've got my lovely blade. All right, I wonder if it's packaged or if it's been open. That's one thing I always wonder. And I don't have a United States power charger, so let's check it out. Dear customer, this phone starts up in German. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we have now established this is the German model of the phone. Uh, it says... Do not accept if seal is broken. So the seal is, this hasn't been touched. This makes me happy. Oh, lovely. They gave me a United States power adapter <clears throat> in this little box here. And, oh, how lovely. All as well. This is the APN settings that are needed. Now I actually have this printed, just in case I want to put in my settings. So I will be quiet now and open up this dude. Of course, you guys, if you are looking at this video, I'm sure you know about all the awesome qualities and uh, specifications that this phone has. Now, my concern with this phone is issues with the screen because AMOLED screens have a lot of variable uh, quality control. So, with the HTC One X, there is no expandability as far as battery and of course your SD card slot so this makes me very happy to see right off the bat and I've actually come to custom to really liking the headphones that Samsung provides they're uh, in-ear and they have earbuds and I notice that the noise cancelling is great I'm studying right now which is what I should be doing and it's been cancelling out all the awful yelling and screaming of the five kids that are in my family feeling is very very sturdy actually. When I push the battery cover in, I'm not feeling any obvious compression or anything like that, so this does feel like a very sturdy phone in hand. And actually, to me, I prefer the feel of this over the HTC One X, which I will do a comparisons video to as well. Uh, yes, Deutschland, so that would be, of course, German. I hope I don't have any problems with my screen. This is always the first thing that drives me nuts. Guys, what would you rather do than to see a first impressions of the display? I think that's probably the most important thing you guys are going to want to see. So, I have the Galaxy S3 screen on full brightness. And you can see my camera is actually having a hard time adjusting to it. The first thing you want to do before you walk out of any store when you buy a brand new phone, if you guys are in the United Kingdom or somewhere that's not in the United States, then you can access this phone. You want to be able to check the phone first by going under your dialer. You can't do this with every phone. This is something that's exclusive to Samsung's own diagnostics testing. You want to push star, pound, zero, star, pound, and it pulls up, woo, very bright, a lot of light, pulls up a LCD screen diagnostics test. And just go ahead and test to see if there's any dead pixels or any types of weird gradients or weird colorations on the screen. Now on my screen, what I'm not seeing, and which is very good, is when you go into receiver, sorry for this buzzing sound, I, what I don't see is any weird type of discolorations. Even when I do go ahead and put this on the lowest brightness, I'm not seeing any weird color balances, I'm not seeing any pinks, I'm not seeing any blues. To me, this looks like as white as an AMOLED display can be. So that's very, very promising. So uh, under red, red is very nice and I'm not seeing any dead pixels. That's the first thing I notice is that there's no dead pixels on this display. I am so happy and there's no weird gradients or weird colorations either. But what I do see on the red and the green is I think this has to do with the actual way that this display has been um, fabricated or manufactured. You can't see it on here. This surprises me. I, I can't get my camera to see what I'm seeing, but what's happening is that there is uniform, at least it's uniform, so at least this doesn't bother me too much, is that there are very faint lines that go all the way across the display in a uniform fashion. 
like a pattern almost. Um, now, since it is uniform, I'm or just the same across the entire display, I'm not too worried about that. And it's not something that I can see during video or anything like that. It's only when it's against a solid color. And you can see it on the green as well. Now, if it's further away from my face, I can't see this gradient. So this is not, not a gradient pattern. So this is something that's probably not gonna bother anybody. I'm not, who's gonna sit here and stare at a solid green display, but somebody who's completely paranoid. Blue, it doesn't do it against blue. I found that was quite interesting, is that it just looks nice, solid, and blue. So this is a very nice panel. I am very happy that I'm getting really good results with this panel because I know that some people are getting ones that are pink, some are getting ones that are blue um, in colors and fading in weird places. So not all of them are like this. And so I have to congratulate Samsung for making a panel in a more stable manner. So this is actually pretty good. Here we are on the bottom is the Galaxy S3 and the top is the Galaxy Note here and they're both placed at maximum brightness. And what I wanna test and show you guys is really the difference in the quality between these two. Now, Samsung I feel has been working hard and changing a couple of things. So on this guy here, whenever you watch video, it has weird colors displayed for shadows, and it also has a lot of clipping, black clipping, really. And clipping is where you'll see one particular color, and once it starts to get darker, it'll just hit black, and there'll be no fade in between. So it has total loss of definition and looks really, really terrible. This has improved very greatly, and I'm not seeing any weird colors as well. So I'm going to do the Iron Man 2 Pepper Kiss sample. This is actually from the DVD, so it's good quality because, well, when you render a video, if you have a lot of artifacts, it's, it looks really crappy. So here's at least a good example. So let's start from the beginning on both of these and check this out. There's no sound, but if you can see, this one's significantly darker. Now I'm gonna pull this one up closer to you guys. If you can see this, this is green. And look at that, look at the bottom. It's not doing this down on the one below. This is terrible. So it just, it has completely wrong color rendering for shadows and it's, it looks horrible. Anytime you watch anything, it looks like complete crap. So it is not doing that now on this. This makes me very happy. Not everybody's Galaxy Note was doing this, but if you can see this, I think it actually looks quite nice. And it, when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing that in some places it does clip a little bit where it's it's a little bit blacker where than it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be more of a fade out, but it really looks good. This is this makes me extremely happy. What 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 is that horrible? Nobody is going to want to watch anything when it looks like this. Uh all oh, right, it is now time for a gamma test. This is the Galaxy S3 up here and the Galaxy Note here. So I'm gonna make this bigger. And if you can see this, there's obvious um, hatch marks that are from the drawing itself. Now, you're not supposed to see that. When you make this bigger, do you see how you don't see any of the grid lines at all? Yeah, you can see that just by this, that the Galaxy S3 is indeed showing colors so much better. But, I mean, if this isn't obvious, you can see those grid marks. No grid marks. It's uh, perfectly black. Awesome, 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 awesome. Now again, <laughs> this is the Galaxy Note here. Uh, Extremely obvious. This is another gamma test. You can see what mine is doing is this is completely bright and then suddenly just drops off after four and you can't see anything. Now, it's not supposed to do this. You should be able to see this. It's supposed to be dimmed down and a gradient and then the left hand side should not be really visible at all. Now, let's try to get the ambient light away. Do you see this? You can see 21 and it goes down in a gradient like you're supposed to. And then once it hits the left hand side, now you can't really see this on video, but what it is doing is that it you can see 10, 9, 8, and then after 8 you really can't see anything. So 
this is a good example. If you guys have your Galaxy S3s, go ahead and type into Google Galaxy Note Gamma Test.png. It will come up under images and make sure when you test this out to download it and open it in the gallery. Don't open it in the, open it in the web page because it will render differently. Make sure to download it into your gallery and open it there and check it out. So Samsung has done something um, in order to change what you're seeing, but